everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Coming up, a brand new style by Raquel Welch. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today, so you could check it out before you decide to make the investment. Below this video, you'll find a link directly to this particular wig style, so you can go out and check out all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. There's also a telephone number you can get a call back or from any product page on the website. If you scroll down and hit the help button, you can be connected with the live chat. So today we're gonna to check out one of the three new styles that were just released by Raquel Welch, September 1, 2021. This is the shortest one. Of the three, it's called Heard It All in the color Shaded Biscuit, RL 1923SS. Heard It All is a short layered cut, kind of structured yet free flowing with some nice fringe. So I do want to touch briefly on my favorite color by Raquel Welch, Shaded Biscuit RL 1923SS. Uh, we can see some variants in this color from style to style and sometimes within different pieces of the same style. So I can report on what I am seeing here. This is more like the traditional shaded biscuit that we all know, love, and come to expect. There's plenty of bright, light highlights in this color. They do take the highlight right up to the lace front and a little bit of a banding effect there. It's a combination of some sand, some honey, and some ash platinum. Beautiful shaded color. It's a medium brown root. So this will make all of you shaded biscuit lovers really happy out there because last year uh, when I rolled out the presentation for the flirting with fashion style, this color was a little off. It just didn't seem as light and bright so I'm right there with you. I'm really happy that uh, this one is really light and bright. So this piece is directly from the box. I removed it from the box. I inspected it. I uh, took off the tags and shook it out really well and applied it. That's all I have done to this style. This is what you should be able to expect from this style right out of the box. Based on the measurements that the manufacturer has released, these front pieces are supposed to be right around seven and a quarter. Um, even if I stretch them out, we're lucky to get six and a half inches. This will help you gauge where it might strike you around the face by knowing your own measurements. So in the back, there's a seven inch layer from the crown, and then that softly tapers down into a 1.75 inch nape. That back and nape are fairly slim in profile. The nape hugs the neck very nicely. And the only area of coverage issues that I see here is right around the ear. When I first applied it, you could definitely see my biological hairline right there behind the ear. So I just had to scoop it around the ear to make sure that it was completely covered. It weighs 2.6 ounces, so very lightweight, and features a full extended lace front and left monofilament side part. So the, the lace front is done very, very well. This is my widow's peak there, striking through that lace. That gives you an idea how sheer that lace is. It blends into my skin tone very nicely. The knots are fairly fine. And that moves back into a left monofilament side part that runs back to the crown. Now, the only issue I can see on this that I noticed right away was how they painted this root. So they've got the thick banding of ash platinum highlight right up to the lace front. And then it abruptly starts in with that root. And it looks like they have missed a spot with that painting on the root. Um, so I may have to work with this part a little bit to make sure that that is well obscured because that is definitely a flaw in the color. What I like to do with styles like this immediately though is to sort of rearrange that part. I wanna go right down the center of that monofilament and divide the hair a little differently. So they had it to where right out of the box it sweeps from left 
to write pretty drastically on a wide part. But if I part that just a little differently around and divide the hair a little bit differently around the face, I feel like you could wear this in a number of styles. So as you saw right out of the box, it kind of swept down over the forehead. Um, but if you just part it maybe a little bit differently or kind of work that front with your hand, I think you can get a nice up and over look on this as well to show off the lace features. There's probably a lot of styles out there like this on the market. Um, I can think of, you know, John Renault's Ignite, which is a very popular angled bob style. And this reminds me a lot of that, but even more so the uh, Belle Trust Cherry style. Um, really, this is almost identical to that style in every way. Let's talk permatease. So there is some permatease on the top around that monofilament. A little bit here at the sides and temple, a little bit at the crown, but very little to none at this slimmer nape here and right over the ear tab, not so much. So it's gonna give you a little bit of lift, but not drastically so. It's just enough to hold the style for us. So this style is made from the True to Life Fiber by Raquel Welch, which is heat friendly. Each one of the strands is a medium denier. It has a very soft, almost waxy feel to the fiber. I feel like it moves very well. This style would be perfect going from the office to evening. So now I want to give you a look at the inside of the cap for this style, but I do want to give you some caution. If you are expecting this wig style to fit you like most Raquel Welch, which is usually average to average large at the most comfortable, this one is a little more average than average large. So if you do have a large circumference, I think you might find that this one might be a little snug based on the piece that I have. There's the extended lace front, very nicely contoured, very nice and deep, extends back into the ear tab, wonderful coverage on this lace front. My only trouble with it is that they started to paint on that root a little erratically. You can see where it's missing a little bit there. That does move seamlessly back into a long monofilament part. And there is a velvet covered closed ear tab with nice sturdy stays. I feel like the coverage is very nice on the ear tab. An extended felted nape with Velcro adjusters. Lots of wefting. You'll notice the silicone stretched out on these wefts. That just gives it a lot of nice stretch and gives it more of a custom like fit. So again, this is right out of the box. I did not apply any product or do anything to it other than shake it out and apply it. The glasses do fit comfortably and securely uh, right over the ear tab, between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Very glasses friendly type style. So now I'm going to do some styling for Heard It All by Raquel Welch. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.